Hello guys, there's a plot twist for you. Just, I've never done this before. For the first time ever on my channel, probably not because I've been doing this for nine years, but I am opening a tutorial video with no makeup on. Hello. So on this lovely Wednesday today, I want to do a very glam, sexy, smoky, sophisticated, but most of all, glam Thanksgiving makeup look. And I want to, I just want everyone to feel beautiful and amazing and their best self. Basically, we're going to be transforming ourselves into a sparkly turkey today, goals. So grab the brushes, grab your shadows, and let's get glam together. All right, so today I'm going to be priming way differently than I usually do because I've been seeing people prime with the most glowy products on the market and then they put foundation over top and somehow it just, it just radiates through. So I'm gonna be trying that. So I'm gonna be trying the Iconic London Illuminator Drops. This one is in the color Shine. Are they all called Shine? Shine Original. So I'm going to be applying this, but also mixing it with a Max to Rope Cream. Just a warning, um, I'm going to be looking like a radiating tin man, so <laughs> wear sunglasses. Wear protection, baby. Shall I do it the Instagram way? I'm doing it. I'm not going to miss this opportunity. I'm going to do it the Instagram way. Ooh, yes. Mmm, yes. Why do... Oh, my brand new shirt. Why do people do it like that? It doesn't make any sense. And then the best part. Oh my God, I'm crying. Oh. And now we start buffing it in, baby. Suddenly Instagram loves me. <laughs> Why do people do this? I'm so confused. <laughs> Well, okay then. So apparently this is an amazing dewy primer that is gonna make you look like a glowy Victoria's Secret model. And you know, I, I, give me that please. For foundation today, I'm gonna be going in with the Huda Beauty Faux Filter in the color Angel Food and mixing it in with a drop of Jouer Essential High Coverage Cream Foundation. This is so high coverage, it's insane. And this is in the color Alabaster. And applying this, you using my Morphe sponge. Hello coverage, we have come home, baby. Oh, and let me say it again. If you are new here and you were looking for a natural finish, this is not the channel. Although I have told myself to do a natural makeup challenge. This is probably an everyday look for most people, but for me it's an actual challenge to go natural. So I might upload a video soon to do a natural makeup challenge. And I'm talking natural. Think BB cream, think naturalness, think natural. <laughs> for concealer, I'm gonna be using this NARS Complete, no, no, Soft Matte Complete Concealer in the color Light One, and this is my favorite concealer as of this moment. Look, I've hit pan. I've, I've hit pan, I love it that much. Under the eyes. Mm -hmm. And I'm gonna bake my under eye area using the Maybelline Fit Me Loose Finishing Powder. All right, so here we are. Before we start, I do wanna let you know that throughout this look, there are gonna be a couple of stages where you are gonna think to yourself, oh my God, oh my God. I mean, I definitely had those stages throughout doing this look as well, but I just want you to know that in the end, everything will be just fine. You're gonna look amazing for Thanksgiving or wherever you wanna wear this look to, but I just wanna warn you that there are gonna be stages where you're like, oh my God, what did we do? And you know, if at the very end, you still don't like what you're looking at, just throw glitter on top and you're fine. All right, so I'm already primed and now we're gonna move on to the first shadow. I'm going in with this Morphe 39A eyeshadow palette and taking this color right here called Cat Eye. And this is going all the way into the crease. And first I'm kind of stamping the color on in the shape that I want. And today I'm keeping the shape a little bit more rounded. And by pressing the color in first into the shape that you like it, you're going to have minimal fallout. Going all the way to the inner corner. 
Now that you've got this very intense shape, you wanna go in with a clean blending brush and buff out the edges. And just use very light feathery strokes. You barely don't touch your skin and the bristles of your brush are barely moving. That's how soft you wanna blend this out. Now I'm gonna take a little bit of the color Bear and this is gonna go right in between where it's looking a little messy. And this is definitely one of those stages where you're like, oh my God, it's looking so splotchy. It's looking so messy. You're gonna be fine. So after all of that, you have something like this, but you can see that in some spots, the dark brown looks a little splotchy or ashy. So now we're gonna go back in with the dark brown to kind of reinforce it. Now it's time to focus on that horizontal, smoky spotlight eye. So I'm gonna go in with the Max Select Cover Up to carve it out. And you wanna go right on the center of your eye, kind of stamp the brush down and drag it down towards the lid. Now usually what you would do is set the entire mid portion of the lid and create a spotlight smoky eye. For the horizontal one, you first want to create a smoky liner. So I'm going back in with that dark brown color on the lash line blending up. Then you wanna go in with a shimmer that's sort of like a mid-tone shimmer. So it's not your lightest shimmer, it's a mid Mid-tone shimmer, I said that. And I'm using So Glam from that same Morphe palette. And you're applying this on top of the concealer, almost touching the far top edge of that concealer, but just leaving that top edge bare. Now on the very top edge, we're gonna use this pigment by Peaches and Cream. This is called Gatsby, and their pigments are one of my favorite pigments on the market. So this is going right on that bare edge. until you have something like this. Yummy. On the waterline, I'm applying the Jouer Slim Cream Eyeliner in black. Then setting that with a black shadow, I'm using the one from the Morphe palette. And now smoking that lower lash line out using Evolve. And on the inner corner, my favorite milk, your festive gold. This one is everything. For lashes, I'm not gonna be applying the Tati Lashes in TL24. All right, so that is it for the horizontal spotlight smoky eyes. I just had so much fun doing this eye look because it's a different shape for once and it's a new technique for once. So big thumbs up to Stacey Marie MUA on Instagram for inspiring me with this. And I hope this made you happy that I finally played with the Morphe 39A on camera. So now let's go on to cheeks. Also, again, if you're new here, foundation lips. Hi, it's my, it's my fourth name after extra bronze smoky eyes and glowy. It will all be over in about a minute or two. So I ordered this bronzer right here by Tom Ford and it is called the ultimate bronzer in the color one gold dust, but <clears throat> that's warm. All right, so let's compare. This is gold dust, Tom Ford. This is my usual bronzer. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna mix up the two because people are giving me trouble for it because people want me to use new bronzers and I am, but how can you, why, why fix something when it ain't broke? Bronzy bronze, bronzy bronze. I bronze up the face. Oh, 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 oh. I am thankful for bronzer at this Thanksgiving. All right, quickly some additional contouring. I cannot live without. You know, with all the turkey that's gonna go down my throat, I need to sculpt, honey, because I'm gonna look bloated. For blush, I'm gonna go in with Barely Legal by Kylie Cosmetics. Now let's do some cheek carving. I told you, we're gonna we're gonna look f like we're full. We're gonna look full. 
You know, this past week I applied this to my jawline to like cut my cheeks. And at the very end of doing my makeup, I forgot to take this off. So I went out looking like this. Yes, I walked out of the house looking like this. And my friend was like, honey, is that a new trend? And I was like, what are you talking about? And she was like, the beard? Is the white beard a new trend? And I was like, what, what? oh my God. Ah, I love my life. <laughs> All right, now I'm gonna highlight my face because I wanna look glowy AF during dinner. So I'm gonna go in with glazed donut. The, the further we go along with the videos, the more pan you're gonna see. So today let's actually brush the bake away. <laughs> All right, now for lips, I'm first gonna line my Cupid's bow and bottom lip using the Jouer Longwear Cream Lip Liner. This lip liner, especially this color right here, this is in the color Pink Champagne Shimmer. This lip liner has a shimmer to it. So once you kind of rub it in after applying it, the shimmer kind of comes up and it just looks like you have very naturally beautifully sculpted lips. Plus my favorite thing about this is that it lasts all day. So some ingredient in this is gonna make it last all day long and I've been wearing it every day when I wear makeup and I just do the cupid's bow and the bottom lip a little bit and then just rub it in a little bit for that shimmer and oh my God, perfect lip pencil on planet Earth. So see how I just did the top here for some definition and then rub it in to get that shimmer and make it a little softer. I love this stuff. It's like instant JLo lips in one go. Like look at the difference that makes to the top lip. It just makes it look so much more defined. My love. Okay, now I'm gonna be applying two Jouer lip creams, the matte ones. And the first color is Buff, and for a highlight, this one is so special. This is called Papai, and it is a beautiful, look at that gold shimmer. Ooh. And some Papai. And I didn't think I would want a gloss, but I do. And of course, some setting spray. And that, guys, concludes this sexy, smoky, sophisticated, but most of all, very, very glam Thanksgiving party look, or just dinner look, or party, smoky, clubbing look. It's just a pretty awesome horizontal spotlight inspired smoky eye, inspired of course by Stacey Marie, makeup artist on Instagram. Go check her out, she's my favorite makeup artist on planet Earth. So yeah, I had so much fun doing this look for you. I hope that if you recreated, that you tag me on Instagram or send me photos on Twitter. It's also been a while since I did a true old school makeup tutorial instead of a review and it feels so good to, to do that again, to just let the creative juices flow and just that sounded so dirty to just let that creativity go and just get all the brushes and glam and sit down and just enjoy the process of it. So I want to thank you so much for watching. For a full list of every single product mentioned and used, go to my description box below. As always, if you enjoyed watching this video, then please don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. And definitely give this video a thumbs up if you want me to do that natural makeup challenge. I want to thank you so much for watching. I love you so much. Don't forget to drink your Coke. <laughs> and hopefully I will see you guys on the next one and have an amazing Thanksgiving. And if you're not from America or Canada or wherever, then just eat lots of food and think of me because I'll be thinking of you. <laughs> All right, bye.